welcome to Yogaya. We're about to do a um, forward bending routine that is very releasing and relaxing. And you can do it any season, any time of the day when you want to go inward. So let's get started. Come into, come onto all fours and let's just take a couple of cats and cows to start. Finding our alignment, shoulders over the wrists and hips over the knees. Press through the tops of the feet and inhale. Lift up, open through the mid-back, exhale. Cave your belly in. Curl in, inhale. And as you exhale, start to focus on that exhalation. Can you deepen it? Can you lengthen the exhale? Can you find that exhale? And at the bottom of the exhale, extend it a little bit more. Inhale again. One more time. Exhale. Curl the toes under. Lift your hips up. Drop your heels down. Lift the heels up. Drop the heels down. You can keep the knees a little bent. Lift up and down. And one more time. And down. As you stand down dog, step your right foot forward. Keep that feeling of going inwards and lower your left knee down. Uncurl the back foot. Then slide the knee to the back of the mat. Take a little bit of a rock side to side. Now bring your right hand to the inside of your right foot. Inhale, open your collarbone and exhale, dive in. Inhale, lift your gaze only. Exhale. Lift your left leg up, flex the foot. Lower the left elbow down. If that is a little too much, you're just gonna hold it here and bend the elbows as if you're doing a chaturanga. If you have the forearm on the floor, twist your gaze to the right. If you are with both hands, just lengthen your spine and gaze back. Left elbow down, reach the right arm up. Gently begin to clasp the back foot with the opposite hand and then bring your gaze down. Finding this variation of lizard pose. Hold your right ankle with the left hand. Breathe here. Take one more breath. Or you were here. Or here. Exhale. Step your left foot back. Flex your right foot. Now bring your shin so it parallels out with the front edge of your mat and slide your right heel towards the top of the mat. Take a twist here, going either here, here, or all the way down. One more breath. Lower the left hand down. Slide the heel to the top of the mat and close your left shin in. Walk the left hand so you can softly land your left hip on the floor. Take a side bend here. Again, both sit bones are grounded. As we move and open and exhale. Hand to the big toe. Inhale, side bend. Exhale, hook the big toe. Inhale. Exhale, come to lie on your side. 
Lift your right leg in line with the mat, parallel to the mat. And then bring your left foot in, hold it with your right hand. Flex your right foot. Now grabbing the outside edge of your left foot, open the leg at a 90 degree angle. Breathe here, bring your gaze down. Flip your left hand open and twist to the floor. Gaze up, bend the right knee, and bring the left top of the foot into the floor. Scoot to the left just to adjust your foot. Open the right knee out more. Walk the hands forward into a sphinx. And then take your left elbow over your right. Take a twist and a forward bend. Try to keep your sit bones on the floor. I feel my right hip went off, so I'm going to go and anchor it down and feel the stretch for your lower back. One more breath. Keep the elbows interlaced. Rise up, taking a hug. Exhale, bend over your left knee, halfway through. Take one more breath, focusing on letting go. Lower your hands down to the floor, go a little bit deeper. Your elbows are crisscross. Lean to the left. Take your feet into a butterfly, grabbing onto opposite knees, fold over. or grab onto the shins or the ankles if you want to go deeper. Relax your head, let it weigh down. Bring your knees together. Hug them, flex your feet, lengthen your spine. And now holding your neck and skull, bring your chin to your chest. Hands slide to your hips, step on your feet, walk over the feet into a forward bend. Open your feet two fists apart and walk your hands to your knees. Bend the knees a little bit, and now forward bend. If you feel you have the yogic toe lock, you can take it. If you want to go a little deeper, you can slide your hands under your feet and bend your elbows. Otherwise, stay here with your knees bent. Walk your hands down to the mat. Take your down dog. Taking a moment to really let go, feel the traction between the upper and the lower body halves as you plant down, as you firm up, as you draw in, that drawing in is the focus. Gaze forward. Step your left foot forward. Slide your back top of the foot almost to the back of the mat and come into this lizard prep. Rocking side to side. 
and we have our options. Inhale, stay here. Exhale, contract. Inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale, lower the right elbow down. Twist your gaze up. Extend your left arm up. Lift the back foot off the floor and reach for the top of the foot. As you bring your gaze down, exhale. Work your heel towards your seat, your hand towards the opposite ankle. Relax your head down. Or you're here, that's perfectly fine. Just drop your gaze. One more breath. Extend the right leg. Walk your hands to side. Forward bend, gate pose. Parallel the shin with the top of the mat. Bring your left hand to the inner left ankle. Reach your right arm. Any option you did here, whether on the forearm or not. One more breath. Beautiful transitioning. Bring the right hand down, walk the left hand in, and turn your shin so you can come into a side bend. The left hip is centered and then the right. Flex the left foot. Reach over and to the side. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, twist. Find the side bend, exhale, bend over, inhale, one more breath, exhale, right arm straightens you up and then tips you down, lie on your side, readjust your hip, flex your left foot, raise the leg off the ground, it's parallel to your mat. Then bring your right foot into the left groin and hold it with your left hand. Bend the elbow. Your right hand is planted into the floor. Slowly begin to open the right leg out, flexing the foot. It's a hip opener. And gaze down to the floor to decompress your spine. It's a lower back stretch. Focus on the letting go, letting flow. One more breath. Gaze front, bend your left knee. Lower the left knee down, then lower your right foot. Readjust your hips, opening left knee out scooting the hips to the right, bringing the right foot to the inner left thigh, and then walk, walk the hands over to the left knee, as if you're doing a sphinx pose, and then cross your right elbow over the left, and exhale, bend over. If you're doing it at this stage, just bend your elbows. If you're on your forearm, Twist it out more. Breathe and feel this rinsing effect of the twist. The lengthening to the spine, the stretch of the hip and the groin. And now take a hug. Twist to the right, exhale, bend over the right knee. Just a little bit, you're still centered. Lower the hands, crisscrossing at your elbows, and go a little deeper. With each breath, 
tuning inwards. Going into the landscape of your soul, all the inner work happening right now, the inner workings of the mind, everything that you need to readjust, reboot, let it happen naturally. Coming up, open the arms, tip to the right, let your soles touch as you open out into a butterfly. Cross the left over the right, and then bend over, crisscrossing at the elbows. Rock a little bit, just feel the shoulders also opening, and then you can slide your hands down and deepen the forward bend or not. Or here. One more breath, let it go. Bring the knees in. Send your legs to the front of your mat. Take your arms up and over. Give yourself a hug, exhale. Flow with a hug. If you're here, contract. If you're here, lengthen. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale. Bend your knees. Plant your hands. Walk the hands to your heels. Keep your head and chin low. And once you come past the legs, walk the hands forward. Come into your forward bend one last time. Feet are two fists apart. Bend the knees. Bring the elbows to your knees, hands into prayer. Relax your head down. into your hands. Round your spine and roll up from the downward motion to the upsurge, reaching the arms up, feet together, find your center. Always Every forward bend has an inner arch. Every contraction, an inner expansion. Find it now. Great practice. Namaste. If you want to practice more with us, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Yogaya Yoga. Visit our website, yogaya.org, and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.